Thank you very much, Congressman Castro. I'd like to thank all of my colleagues who spoke here tonight, that, uh, and thank you, Madam Speaker, for affording us the opportunity to speak to the American public and to actually explain this very, very critical, important economic benefit to the, our great country. I'd like to thank my colleagues, uh, my fellow Americans, for speaking out tonight and explaining to every American of our great country that comprehensive immigration reform benefits you. Every single person born in this country will benefit tremendously from a passage of comprehensive immigration reform. I think it's important for us to understand that to many of us American-born citizens, this is a very important issue. It's about economics, but it's also an emotional issue as well. I'm very, very proud to say that I was born in this country, and I thank my parents for coming to California and to ra for raising me in California as an American citizen, even though they were raised in Mexico. I think it's important for us to understand that I'm proud of growing up in a family where my father owned a business, and he taught me and explained to me with hers, his first grade education in Mexico. He told me time and time again, as well as telling my 10 brothers and sisters, you have an opportunity for an education. You need to take advantage of that opportunity. And we did. I'm very proud to say that my mother had a second grade education. My father had a first grade education. But their children now have doctor degrees, master's degrees, bachelor's degrees, engineers, teachers, psychologists, all raised in one humble home in Pacoima. That is the American experience, ladies and gentlemen. And one thing that I'm very proud to say as well, our 10 families, now that we're raising our own American families, every single one of our households pays more annually in taxes than my mother and father's home ever made in one given year. I'll say that again. From a humble home where a man and a woman together raised their children, their entire annual income did not equal the amount of taxes that each one of their sons and daughters' homes now pay today. To me, that's the exclamation point on everything we've talked about tonight. We've talked about how important it is to the Social Security system. It will boost that. How it is to the deficit that we hear about on this floor so many times it will actually erase $850 billion from our U.S. deficit. There are so many benefits that will benefit not only the, our coffers here in Washington, which benefits America, but will actually benefit hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of American-born citizens that will work in those industries that are created and spearheaded by immigrants to this country. And I must say this. I would like to read a few of the names of American-born, uh, excuse me, immigrants born outside of this country who created businesses in this country that many of us use every day and recognize. Sergey Brin from Russia, co-founder of Google. Pierre Omidyar, Iranian immigrant from France, one of the co-founders of eBay Inc. Jerry Yang from Taiwan, co-founder of Yahoo. James Al Kraft, a Canadian, co-founder of Kraft Inc. Levi Strauss, a man from Germany, founder of Levi Strauss, right there in California. Liz Claiborne from Belgium, founder of Liz Claiborne, Inc. And if you think clothes don't mean much, but I'll tell you, that's a company worth $5 billion, a United States company worth $5 billion. Andrew Grove from, Grove from Hungary, co-founder of Intel, a company worth $112 billion. Hevert S. Havnanian from Iraq, founder of Havnanian Enterprises, home builder, with 200, in 2011 had revenues of $1.1 billion. And the list goes on and on and on. Every single one of those individuals made their second life here in our great country. And it's because there was a time that in this country we embraced everyone from around the world. And all we asked of them is that they just obey the laws once they are here and that they do well with the opportunities that our great country affords every human being when they are here. We have one of the highest standards of living in the world and there's a reason for that because there was a time for many, many years that we welcomed people to our shores and 
now basically at this time where we just reopened the Statue of Liberty. It's time for us to embrace people from around the world and for us to recognize it's not just about doing the right thing for them. It is the right thing for every American citizen born in this country. The benefits economically are tremendous. There are no losers, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to United States Congress doing the right thing. Let's put a comprehensive immigration bill through our process and on the desk of this president, and let's watch this country thrive. Our great country deserves it. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And once again, I'd like to thank everybody who have participated. I yield back my time. The gentleman yields.